The aims of this recording is to show you 1. What is exact differential equation? 2. How do you know the equation is exact? 3. How to solve exact differential equation? First, what is an exact differential equation? Recall, if we have a function phi of xy, then differential of phi is equal to partial derivative of phi with respect to x dx plus partial derivative of phi with respect to y dy. Now, the term partial derivative of phi with respect to x dx plus partial derivative of phi with respect to y dy equal to 0 is an exact differential equation. What is an implication now? If you have an exact differential equation given, then it means that differential of phi is equal to 0. That means that phi of xy is a constant. Or in short, you can write in this way, phi of xy is equal to a constant c. Point number two. How do you know that the equation is exact? Since if you are given an exact equation, partial differentiation of phi with respect to x dx plus partial differentiation of phi with respect to y dy. Now, if you differentiate partial differentiation of phi with respect to x, again, with respect to y, partial differentiation of phi with respect to y, and differentiate with respect to x again, we know that these two terms are equal if the function has a continuous partial derivative. And so, this gives us a clue of how to test if the equation is exact. So, you are given the mxy dx plus nxy dy equals 0. Now, you can test whether this is exact by testing partial differentiation of m with respect to y and partial differentiation of n with respect to x if they are equal. So if they are equal, then we know the equation is exact. So, is 4x cubed plus 3x squared y squared dx and 4y cubed plus 2x cubed y dy equals 0 exact equation? First, m is 4x cubed 3x squared y squared. So if I do a partial differentiation of m with respect to y, I will get partial differentiation of m with respect to y, 4x cubed, 3x squared, y squared, and you do partial derivative, you know, with respect to y, x will be treated as constant, so the first term will be 0, and second term will be you have 3x squared, differentiate y squared, get 2y, and in the end, you get 6 x squared y. On the other hand, partial differentiation of n with respect to x, where n is 4y cubed plus 2x squared y. So we do a partial differentiation of n with respect to x, we get partial differentiation with respect to x. For y cubed, 2x cubed y. Y, y is treated as constant now, so first term gets 0, second term you get 6x squared times y. So you find that we have partial differentiation of m with respect to y equal to partial differentiation of n with respect to x. So this equation is exact. That point. How do we solve an exact differential equation such as the one I just given to you? 
Well, this is the procedure. We know the function is exact now. That means this is equivalent to partial differentiation of phi by respect to x dx plus partial differentiation of phi by respect to y dy equal to zero. That means that 4x cubed 2x squared y squared is partial differentiation of phi by respect to x and 4x cubed plus 2x cubed y is partial differentiation with respect to y. So let's focus our partial differentiation of phi with respect to x equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared y squared. So to integrating with respect to x, phi will be integrating 4x cubed plus 3x squared y squared dx. Notice that this integration you treat y constant now. So when you integrate 4x cubed, you get x power 4. Since differentiate x power 4, get 4x cubed. And integrate 3x squared y squared. Notice that y squared is treated at constant now. So you have x cubed y squared. Since you differentiate x cubed y squared, with respect to x, you get 3x squared y squared. And then plus a constant. And this constant is a function depend on y now. Since anything with y, when you differentiate with respect to x, you get 0. So phi is x power 4 plus x cubed y squared plus a function of y. This is a constant in x. Differentiate this phi with respect to y now. So partial differentiation of phi with respect to y. Now differentiate x power 4 gets 0. Differentiate x cubed y square, you get x cubed 2y. Differentiate gy, you get g prime y. So that means partial differentiation of phi with respect to y is 2x cubed y plus g prime y. You compare this one we have earlier. This is partial differentiation of phi with respect to y, and it's also equal to this partial differentiation of phi with respect to y. So that means this is equal to 4y cubed plus 2x cubed y. So by comparison, you must have g prime of y equal to 4y cubed now. So if you have g prime of y equal to 4y cubed, that means g prime of y equal to 4y cubed. And what is gy now? gy integration of 4y cubed. Respect to y, you get y power 4 plus a constant. Therefore, I know what is phi now. Phi is equal to x power 4 plus x cubed y squared plus gy. And now I know gy is y power 4 plus c. So phi is equal to x power 4 plus x cubed y square plus what gy, which is y power 4 plus a constant. Let's call it constant c1. So our solution, because this equation is z, we recall that the solution of z differential equation is phi xy equal to c constant. The solution is phi xy equal to c constant where phi is given by x4 plus x cubed y square plus y4 plus c1 equal constant. You can group the constant together so you get basically this is the solution of the exact differential equation equation by grouping the constant together. And this is how you solve an exact differential equation. And that's the end of the recording.